Led Zeppelin, Over the Hills and Far Away. Seriously, what can you say about Led Zeppelin that has been said already? How can you honor them enough? I'm going to tell you right now, collared shirt. You won't see that on me. I'm wearing a collared shirt. I'm just informal for Led Zeppelin, baby. So <clears throat> that's all I'm going to say right there. Let's get right into it. But before I do, click on the bottom right there. You get three free uh, bass lessons. That's uh, right in the YouTube text box down there. Um, there's a uh, basic, uh, intermediate, and advanced lesson, so whoever you are, I got something for you. So let's roll right into the music here. Um, all right, so the first thing you're going to do for this song is you're going to play four notes on the um, third fret of the E string. Just like that. Then you're going to play three notes of the open A string. There's a couple different ways you could play this, but the important thing is there's kind of a, you have to mute it after you play because there's kind of a rest between each note here. So it's, if you played it on the fifth fret of the A string, you'd get, or on the open A string. See, I'm actually muting the note with my middle finger there. You can use your hand. And the next thing you're going to do, and this is pretty quick, but you'll totally get it. All you got to do is just practice a couple times. You're going to be hitting the fourth fret of the uh, D string, and then the second fret of the D string. Pretty quick. Just like that. You don't have to mute it, actually. The, the, you, you don't have to do the last muting of the A string, because when you play the D string, your finger is going to land right on the A string, and that's going to, that's going to mute it finger is going to rest on the A string after you plug it. So that's if you're not using, if you're using the open A string instead of the, um, the E. Or the open A string instead of the fifth fret of the E. So real slow, that's... And then you're going to play four more on the third fret of the E string. <clears throat> and then you're going to slide up. I don't know if you can see this. There you go. You can, you're going to slide up. Don't slide, actually. I didn't mean to say slide. You're going to play the um, seventh fret of the D string. And then the fifth fret of the A string. And then back to the seventh fret of the a, uh, D string and then back to, or not back to, but then play the fifth fret of the E string. So it looks like this. Real slow, that's. So in all, we have. Now, the, so the next part of the song, which is a pretty sweet part, move my finger so I don't have to move the camera. <clears throat> this is the, uh, the, the sweet, hoppy little, uh, little ditty. So you're gonna play two notes on the uh, E string uh, fifth fret, just like that. Then you're gonna play the seventh fret of the E string then the fifth fret of the A string. So just like this. And then go back to the uh, seventh fret of the E string. Just like that, so slowly. One finger. My nose. Okay, and then you're going to hit the uh, fifth fret of the A string again. So the whole thing is just like that. Then um, what I do is I play sort of a ghost note or a muted note. I keep my finger right on that fifth note, right? Uh, I'm sorry, fifth fret. And I play the string, the A string, but I kind of have my finger lifted up a little bit so it doesn't actually sound. So it just sounds like this. So it sounds like this. And then you're going to put your, uh, you're going to play the uh, seventh fret of the E string, the fifth fret of the A string, and then the seventh fret of the A string. 
Now there's a couple different ways that you can play this. That That's the easy way, right? So you got... Do it slower. Now the other way to play this is to play it while your phone is playing an Irish ditty. That's the other way of doing it. <laughs> I can't find it! Okay, so sorry about that. Why don't I shut my phone off when I'm taping? Come on, bin bar. All right, so the other way to play this is with a little slidey slide. And with some tabs, you'll see there's a slide and some there isn't. Some there's a legato slide, which means you don't play the second note. So that would look like this. Just like that. So you're actually not playing the uh, seventh fret of the A string, you're just sliding it. Just like that. Most people, when I see they see him play, and actually when I've seen this uh, live, it looks like um, he's actually playing just like that. But you can slide in there if you want. I think that's more authentic. And then the same thing, the next one, that, that's the question part of it, and the answer part of it is So instead of going to the 7th fret of the A string, you're going to the 7th fret of the E string. Just like that. So the whole thing, slowly. Alright, and then in the interlude, what he's playing, the interlude, um, he plays, plays it kind of like th three slightly different ways each time he plays it. So um, I'm going to show you those ways right now. So the first way he does this is uh, put your uh, finger on the fifth fret of the D string. You're playing three notes just like that. And then you're going to play two notes on the um, seventh fret. Or you can play one note and mute the other one like this. And then you're going to play three notes on the 5th fret of the A string. So it's like this. Except you're throwing the 7th fret in there. And then 7th fret of the A string. And then you're going to hit... So then you're going to hit um, the 5th fret of the A string. And then the 5th fret of the um, E string. And then the 5th fret of the A string again to the E open A. So that's... Whoops. Now the next time he plays this, that, remember that E's ringing out, he slides up to the 4th uh, fret of the E string. So it sounds like this. So it's open, slides up to the 4th, then plays the... Um, 7th fret of the E string and 7th fret of the um, little A string. So it sounds like this. That's what he plays before he goes to the 5th um, fret of the D string. So you're going to play three notes on the 5th fret of the D string. And then you're going to play a little run. You're going to play the 4th fret of the D string, the 7th um, fret of the A string and then the three notes of the um, of the A string. So it sounds like this. And then you're gonna play two more notes on the fifth fret of the A string, followed by one note on the fourth fret of the A string. So it sounds like this. Then you're gonna play a little run and it's gonna sound like this. So you're going to play the 7th um, fret of the E string, followed by the 5th fret of the E string, 4th fret, e fret of the E string, and then 4th fret of the E string, 4th fret of the E string, it's hard to say fast, 4th fret of the E string, and then you're going to resolve to the open E again. So the whole run is... Just like that. That's the second part, of the second variation of the interlude. All right, so the third part of our third variation to that interlude. It sounds like he's playing, um, uh, well first he does a little uh, little uh, bass riff there where he's, the, the E note is ringing out, so then play two 
uh, notes on the fourth fret of the E string, then one note on the um, seventh fret and then of the E string, and one note on the seventh fret of the uh, A string. Seventh fret of the E string. Seventh fret of E string. Seventh fret. That's hard to say fast. Seventh fret of E string. Seventh fret of E string. So it's gonna sound like this. Then play two, uh, the three notes on the um, fifth fret of the D string, followed by one note on the um, on the uh, seventh fret of the D string, three notes on the um, fifth fret of the A string, followed by one note on the seventh fret of the A string. So then you're gonna play two notes on the um, fifth fret of the E string. Then one on the seventh, one on the fourth, and then you're going to resolve to zero. I said uh, resolve to zero, didn't I? I meant resolve to the E, but open, <laughs> which looks like a zero. <laughs> During the uh, guitar solo of this song, pretty easy riff that he's playing, and people vary this, and of course a lot of you varies it a lot, but the, the basic format is you're going to place your um, your pointer finger on the second fret of the E string, and you want to um, have these uh, not ring out. It's important to have a rest in between there. So you're going to do uh, second fret of the E string, and then I like to put a little ghost note in there. So you're going to play second fret of the E string, then a little ghost note on the, um, the blah, 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 one, two, three, fourth fret of the A string, and then play the actual note, so it sounds like this. And then a little ghost note on the fourth fret of the D string, followed by the actual note. Just makes it a little funkier. Then place your uh, pointer finger on the second fret of the D string. And this is a little faster. And then the um, fourth fret of the A string, then the second fret of the, of the um, E string, and then the open E if you like. So the whole thing sounds like. Oh, and then you go back up and play that, that power chord basically again, the second fret of the E string, the um, fourth fret of the A string, and the fourth fret of the D string. Whole thing. All right, so here's the uh, the point of song that everyone's been waiting for, that crazy run after the guitar solo. All right, now, th dude, this is my interpretation of this and also the interpretation of some others. Um, I know I'm gonna get all kinds of comments that, you know, I'm playing this wrong, but, um, you know, what are you, gonna, what are you gonna do? I can't please, I can't please everybody. <laughs> Go. So what you're gonna to need to do for this run is first play a note on the second fret of the E string, then the first fret of the A string, and then again, I, I sneak a little note in there again before I hit the fourth fret of the A string, so it sounds like this. Then play the second note, uh, so, I'm sorry, second fret of the D string, followed by the fourth fret of the D string. When you play that, you're gonna play it three times. Then play the uh, third fret of the um, G string. Then the sixth fret of the G string. Then you're gonna play the ninth fret of the G string. And then you're gonna do a little slide, ninth to eleventh. Then you're gonna play the eighth fret of the A string. The eleventh fret of the A string. So it sounds like. And then you're going to play again the ninth fret of the E string, and then the last, lastly, the eleventh fret of the G string. So there you have it. Oh man, awesome, awesome song by uh, Led Zeppelin. They have many. So um, don't forget again. Um, you could always click down in the little uh, text box down there to get uh, three free bass lessons um, that aren't on YouTube at all. So, uh, thanks for listening. This is Finbar from Finbar Bass, and as always, have a lot of fun with it.